on Saturday I took the drone out and thought let me try to land on top of the intake tower number two and um, so I sent it out there I took off from the low water dam and uh, if you've ever been to the low water dam it's like the sketchiest place on earth you could be there Sunday morning 9 a.m. and there's some odd stuff going on when I took off the guy there's a guy in a pickup truck right next to me and it looked like he was crying and he's just slamming beers and um, after I land on the drone after I land on the building and I and I tried to recover the drone he got out of his truck and was talking to me and uh, I think maybe I cheered up his day a little bit. At least I got his mind off of whatever the hell it was he was trying to to, to drink away. So, after running off the ducks, <laughs> I'm able to land the drone. The thing about the DJI drones, when they're in normal mode, it's got a downward sensor, so when it recognizes solid ground beneath it, at a certain point, it figures, oh, you're trying to land, and so it it does it, it lands automatically you'll see it here in a second the camera goes up it lands so like, oh, okay I landed that's great now let me I'm gonna take off right so when I try to take off you'll see this little movement in the, in the camera here in a second right there I realize ah there's a problem and so I go out and I think oh let me see I take a look at it with the other drone and I see I actually broke a propeller so yesterday Greg and I went out and I tried to recover it, a lot of wind. It wasn't success successful, I burned through two batteries. So it's supposed to rain tomorrow, so Keisha and I went out again today. I have a quick release device on the on this drone. So if I activate a light that's on the drone, um, it will trigger a little servo that will release whatever it is, like if you got a payload. Yesterday I forgot that at home and, and so I tied a rope to it and was just trying to do it that way. Um, thinking well, so in hindsight you'll see at the end of this video it's a really good thing that I actually didn't capture the drone yesterday because if I would have somehow been able to, to get it yesterday and get it latched on I would have lost two drones probably um, because the weight of the chain combined with the weight of the uh, the drone was is a little bit too much for um, the Air 2 that I was using. I did testing ahead of time, but I, I tested with a different cable. I didn't test with this chain. Yesterday when I was trying to get it, I flipped it over on its back. And from everything I've been looking at that looks like, and even the testing that I did at home, once it's on its back, it's really hard to get because there's not a lot of, there's not a lot of, um, space underneath the drone to get the claws into so this was on the first battery I was able to get it back on its on its legs so I thought well that's good at least I mean that's I have to I like I was under 50% battery so I had to fly back to the bridge to, to ch change out another battery but I thought well I've got two batteries left I got it back on its legs that's pretty good right there um, with the wind the way it was yesterday the wind was so bad that you know I couldn't hardly get the keep the claw over the drone and and the thing about when you're close to um, yeah see I was able to flip it back on its back again and knock it down just a little bit further the thing about the drones is you've got to turn off the sensors and fly manual when you're this close that means you're not being able to use GPS, you can't use any of the sensors that help stabilize, so the wind is just knocking you around. Everything is done just by just by sight and with, you know, you got no help from any sensors at all. And at the same time, the wind's trying to drag you into the damn building, which is spooky. So I finally was able to get it right on the... And then at this point, I'm trying to pull up, and again, I didn't test this chain. So it's too much weight. I can't pull it up. So I'm yanking, I'm yanking, and I throw it into sport mode to try to get a little bit extra oomph out of the motors. And when I get it into sport mode, then I start getting some altitude. So I was like, I couldn't tell right here. I'm looking down. 
It's like, oh, I'm getting up. I'm getting aloft, right? So now I'm going to sprint towards the bridge because thinking about this, I thought, well, once I get it, I got to get to the bridge and I got to get over the bridge so that if I drop it, uh, I'll drop it on the bridge. But I can't, it's like the motors won't get me up higher. I can't get any higher. I'm trying to go higher. And now I'm starting to lose altitude because, again, it's too heavy. And I'm giving it all the throttle I can, and I really start losing altitude here. So here I had to do the quick release button and release the drone into the river. Drone, chain, claw. It's like, ah, damn. But the whole thing was, I mean, when I landed the drone on the intake tower in the beginning, I assumed I was going to lose this drone. It was just like the test. And then after that, it became kind of a game to try to recover it, just to see if, if it could be done, right? Because, you know, I didn't want to walk on the bridge and know that that drone was out there every day. So I think, uh, if anything, maybe I failed successfully or a successful failure. <laughs> but that's the story.